Hello everybody and welcome back to Prophets Gaming and more EU4 Border Gore Town because we just took over a fair chunk of Oirat, fed more off to Korchin and some to Briatia. I can only core uh, Ilkuri at the moment and then they'll have to gradually work my way back down, but does put me in a position where I could try to kill Kazak and take them as a daimyo as well, which is hilarious and I think we should go ahead and get our spy network going. I also think that we should get our conquistador over here and discover uh, a bit of Siberia with the goal of cutting off Russia, because they've gotten pretty large and strong. I'd like to stop them from getting all the way over here, because then they will become that much more difficult to deal with later. So by 1563, I'm finally looking for ways to mess with Russia. Uh, we are also going to go ahead and um, move our trade capital here. Now what I don't remember is... It takes 200 ducats to upgrade a natural harbor. Huh. Uh, anyway, yeah. Let's go ahead and spend the 200 power. We're going to move it here. And then we're going to go to my trade navy up here. And we are going to select a protect trade mission down in Malacca. And then, where can I steer trade effectively? Where do I have any amount of control that would work? Uh, I suppose it could make sense to move this here. So I'm going to go ahead and try to transfer trade power out of Beijing and send them toward Malacca if possible and see if I can get a bit of one downstream uh, trade power, but two, more ducats flowing that away instead. We are already maximizing profits and collecting here in Nippon, so that should be fine. Methinks. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get our uh, troops all in position to kill Kazak and to explore. Not looking to provoke Russia. Russia's still scary. But I just don't want them getting any stronger. I'd rather them turn their attention somewhere else, you know? Maja Pahit Separatists want to fire. I hate to do it, but I'm going to go ahead and raise autonomy here. I don't have the troops in position to deal with them. That'll just get them several years of extra separatism. I'd rather just have the autonomy tick down for a while. We can pass a national decision, anti-Christian e uh, edict. Interesting. So the convert to Christianity option still has not uh, appeared, has it? Spread of Christianity, yeah. We haven't encountered the West. I guess anti-Christian edict is okay for the time being? Sure. Though eventually... I kind of want to become Christian, so we'll see. And that quickly finishes some conversions. All right, so we can convert things quickly, eh? Do I dare provoke these when they're at 90%? The answer to that is no. I guess we'll go ahead and start converting the Tengri up over here. I did raise autonomy there as well while we get our troops in position. Uzbek separatists from Russia shouldn't be a problem for me. We have yet to meet Uzbek. New advisor, national unrest, inflation, stability, taxes. The national unrest guy wouldn't actually put anything down at the moment. I think I'm going to go for the taxes. Um, he'll sort of kind of pay for himself a little bit. Can't core things very rapidly. So I guess we can go and turn our attention to getting some more development. This is going to become very expensive very quickly. But we are at 55%, so we're working on it. I'm going to go ahead and improve relations with Oda. Now, we did get the Pirate Haven reducing relations with all of my daimyos as well. Unfortunate, but if I can get these guys up toward um, 190 approval, I might just annex them to be safe. And make sure that I don't have institution spread issues in the future. Might. We'll see. Spice trade. Trade efficiency and mercantilism for two years. I'm going to hold off on that as well, because I think we can benefit from that more later. I think we get more trade. More trade efficiency useful. Alright, so Hongju is transferring what? It is transferring down this way. So our trade port should be here. How much? It doesn't show me my uh, merchant, but we are collecting what? 
Malaka. 17? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We making muns. We making all those muns. I take. That doesn't really do much for me. I guess reducing autonomy is not bad. We'll do that. Trade power? No. Let's go to Brunei. And boost up my natural harbor. I can't. I need 200 ducats. Never mind. We just spent all that money. All right, troopsies. Get in position. Levying taxes or manpower? Well, I'm capped on manpower, so I guess it's going to be money. Nice. So about that boosting of the natural harbor. Let's do that. Local production... Uh, development cost goes down. Actually, that's something I didn't even think about. Had I started development down here, we could have spent the money to boost this. Ooh, that would have been smarter. I didn't think of it. And of course, there's nothing over here. I did not think of that. That would have been smarter, actually. I was worried about the uh, extra development costs from Tropical, but had I gotten the Natural Harbor and then boosted it up, it would have ended up being a wash. That said, even though, even then, I don't know, maybe it still is better not to have done this. Would have been difficult to get the, uh, the printing press to spread all the way up here, you know? Would have taken forever. Probably better to stay in Japan. I don't know, probably. The printing press is arguably the last difficult uh, institution for me to get. That's going to cost me a lot of power. How are we doing on tech? Seven years ahead of time. I guess I'll continue investing. I mean, we got a pretty good amount of power across the board to work with here. Hey, we got the printing press. Done. All right. So we're out of power. But who cares? The printing press is now here. And it is indeed spreading nearby. Okay, I don't have to annex Oda. This does ever so slightly connect to the key channel, which means now we are getting a spread in Setsu. That's going to spread very rapidly, and then it'll go to Kyoto and Awa and so on. Perfect. Okay, printing press is on the way, guys. Nice. You want military power? I refuse. Screw you. Ming's not going to be happy with me, but who cares? They trust me implicitly, right? Korean noble rebels. Buryat noble rebels. Not a big deal. You guys, take the conquistador. Let's go explore this away. I want to find out where I can screw over Russia. That's the new goal. Where can I cut them off? And I will happily, happily have too many colonies and pay that extra fee in order to cut them off. I will happily do so. And once I've done so, I don't think they'll be able to access the rest of this, technically. Accommodation with the natives. Losing ferocity. All right. Sure. Um, you guys are just really slow because it's the mountains out in the Siberian areas, so moving around, it does take a while. We almost have enough to get a claim on Kazakh, who has no friends in the world, so they'll be easy to take over as a daimyo. Perfect. Fabricate claim on, uh, well, you know, another thought. I could take a province for myself here. That would give me access to Yarkand. No, it wouldn't. I'd have to take this as well, both of these, because of the wasteland. Still, I might do that. I might take both of these just so I can get Yarkand down. Yarkand, who, again, I could turn into a daimyo. My goal here is to completely surround Ming in daimyos. The idea being that when they eventually feel threatened by me and drop me as a tributary, or I feel like leaving them, they'll be surrounded by non-tributary subjects and lose all their mandate and become very easy pickings. That is the goal. We will fabricate a claim on Illy. Don't need any else. More. Now, of course, it's taking me forever to core anything out here, because we don't have, like, any core range to speak of. So getting all this is going to take a while, and I'll be overextended for a little bit, technically. Still. Looks like Russia has taken this province and this one, so let's move instead this way. Let's just see what I'm looking at first, and then I'll decide where to cut them off. They've been uh, spreading very rapidly. Bryatia is attacking... Um, somebody. Korchin. Okay. Disable. Kill. Re-enable. Thank you. Not missing anything else. Could force these people to also contribute to the capital. 
Natives, Tidor. Oh, I lost my claim on Tidor. I kind of haven't bothered with Tidor in a little bit. But I don't regret that decision. We're making much larger plays right now. Alright, Kazak. I think we just go ahead and kill you now. I'll put my other general in charge here. Where's your capital? There it is. You guys go grab the war goal. You guys go to the capital. Easy enough. Okay. I don't see evidence of this being taken by Russia. Marital bliss. Cheaper advisor. Um, At level 3, that would only cost me a little bit more money. And I could get more military power. Yes, I accept this. And I think I am in actually going to take this guy. It's only a ducat more for extra power. It's worth it to me. Could even upgrade them if I wanted to. Let's instead go to Brunei. I cannot upgrade you again. Oh, I can't during a war. Ah. Thing I did not know. But now does. So can I afford several colonies? Like, how many colonies would I have to do to do a cutoff? Because if I start colonizing these, and then Russia just sneaks their way up to the north, I'm going to be very sad. Okay, hang on. Does, has Russia already gone here? They have. Uh-oh. Whoa, wait. What? Russia's already gotten all the way over here? Holy crud. Okay, let's go march up this way and see if I can cut them off this way. That'll cut off at least all this land. And then I'll have to fight with them over the rest of this. Eek. It's not what I wanted to see. Russia has been expanding very aggressively. They probably have expansion ideas. No, they don't. They just get to establish their Siberian frontiers, which is a whole different mechanic. Huh. It's more powerful than I expected it to be. Uh, yeah, Russia is, uh, very scary to me. Vassal Swarm should be able to handle them, but it's gonna take a lot of extra wars against them to eventually, uh, take over the world. Okay, that's done. You guys go here. They got no land left, so... I'll take that, and then make you into a Vassal. Can't. Well, it won't last for long, but I'll go ahead and siege the rest of your land for good measure. Yeah, we need to colonize up here. Let me go ahead and recall the, the colonists now. Okay, the colonist is here, but I can't do anything because I don't border it. So I have to colonize here. Alright, we'll try that. Kazak, you need to give up. I appreciate your bravery, but no. Stop it. You're at 99% war score now. Now you'll give up. Give me all your muns. And you are my new slave. I mean vassal. Goodbye. You know something I haven't checked in a while? Aggressive expansion. I mean, I got a bit, but surprisingly not too bad. All things considered, it's not that bad. I don't think any of these guys will be uh, forming anything against me anytime soon. Let's go ahead and core those, since apparently I'm allowed to do that. Kazak. Divert trade. Be supportive. Support me, dang you! Don't want anybody to contribute to the capital. <laughs> Hakshi, do it. Takayama, do it. Kutai. I mean, why not get free development while we can, right? Pasai. I seriously need, like, a rapid interact button. This thing's a lot easier. Ito is attempting a reconquest against Korea. Somehow I don't think that's going to work for you. Kill yourself. Thank you. Look at Russia go. See? This is what I'm talking about. They can set up their colonies so 
gosh dang fast is terrifying how fast they can do that. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. What am I going to do? How am I going to do this? How am I going to stop him? I don't think I'm able to colonize here. Oh, uh, this is where maybe going for expansion ideas would have been the smart play. We've become a world power. Really? Surprising. I'm number three. Wait. What? Wait. Wait. Uh-oh. I am no longer a tributary of Ming. I am no longer allowed to be a tributary of Ming. Uh-oh. Okay, we've officially hit that point. I mean, being a world power is great and all. Uh, this now makes things very difficult as far as who I can start killing because I can't do tributary things. Uh-oh. Strategic interests. You trust me so much. Yeah, this is a huge problem because now it's very difficult for me to actually go and kill people like Oirat because they are tributaries of Ming. What about Yarkand? You're a tributary of Ming. Fudge, fudge, fudge. So, why is this still going up? Your prosperity's too high. Non-tributaries. You only have seven tributaries, including Malacca? Oh, come the heck on. I need to find ways to kill his tributaries, but how do I do that? Rivals. I can only rival Ming, who is way stronger than me. Yeah. This just got awkward. This just got very, very awkward. Rightful ownership. No. So let's go ahead and just confirm real quick that uh, I'm not going to be able... Wow, it takes so long to move around in Siberia. Setsu. Isolationist. Have to do this in Setsu. What am I just saying? I don't remember anymore. All right, I wanted to verify that I can't uh, colonize here. I don't think I can, because I don't technically own any of this. Uh, there's nowhere to go up here. So let's just explore the rest of this area. Um, if I go here, I think that this is nothing to colonize. So if I go here, that does cut off Russia from this. If I'm aggressive, I go for these. But I don't colonize that quickly. Yeah, maybe I should have started doing this a long time ago. Maybe I shouldn't have worried about Alaska. Russia colonists. Well, that helps. We can embrace the printing press. Would cost me a little bit of money. So Setsu has it now, yeah? Yep. Kyoto's working on it. Everything else is very slow. How far ahead of time are we on tech? Four years. No need to embrace this for a little bit longer, so we'll hold off. But yeah. Wow, look how fast they expand. That is not even fair, man. So I wanted to build a spy network against Yarkand. Um... We may have no choice but to sort of wait until Ming is in a weird position where they don't want to defend. But I suspect they will always want to defend. Definitely cannot colonize there, so that's not an option. So let's continue working there. Yeah. I don't know, guys. We're in a weird spot. Okay, we reduce our isolationism at a time when I don't really need to worry about uh, development anymore. Still, uh, this does technically increase my institution spread by a fair bit. I mean, hey, we might actually be able to get it in Kyoto now. Before we, um, 
want to embrace the institution. So we're going to get a claim against Yarkan and just sort of see what is available to me. I don't think it's going to work. Revolutionaries and Oirat? What? That's not weird at all. It's bizarre as heck, man. I wish I could see... How Can, can I see how fast you colonize? It doesn't say. I could probably watch it and infer. So, for example, there's a hundred... Wow, they're th colonizing three... Four! Four at a time, guys. Five! Six! Yeah, how do you compete when... Whoop, I died. How do you compete when they're able to have six colonies at a time? You freaking don't! <laughs> you don't! Kill yourself. Alright, my leader is good at a number of things. What do I want with my power? Uh, we can switch our focus to something else eventually. What would it be? Admin, maybe? Or Diplo? Yeah, he's probably... Got, I think he has... I think he might actually have eight or nine colonies going at a time right now, and I'm not even kidding. So unbelievably unfair. Now I understand a bit more about why people were saying you have to really rush to take out Russia. Russia, who, by the way, is allied to Chernigov, Odiev, Circassia, and Smolensk. How many troops does Russia have? A lot. A hundred thousand. Oh my god. Oh my god. You know what this means? Since we're capped out on manpower and we have a lot of money and we're making a lot of money, it means it's time to freaking build up a load more troops. Template. That's... That's more than I can afford. No, I can afford that, right? 42. 44. How many troops can I have? 44. Would cost me a lot of money. It's honestly more than I need right now, but let's hold on to it. Let's build this. In Kyoto. Since we're on our own, it is time to start building up a grand army of Ryukyu. We need to start getting aggressive, man. I don't care about claims there. That doesn't matter. Yeah, I'll core that. I'll accept the royal marriage with you. We're gonna go ahead and annex Oda next, I think. Finish them off. Get some more states. So, Yarkand. That's done. I'm fairly confident Ming will offer to defend them. And if they do, I can't win that. Yes. Attitude towards enemies. They really don't like me. So now my only avenue of expansion safely is non-Ming tributaries. Not the end of the world. We can do that. But it is going to be difficult. I'm also going to go ahead and start building some more ships. Transports, for one. A um, couple of those. Uh, I think we build a couple of heavies. Let's just go ahead and start improving. Let's get stronger. We're going to have to deal with Kazaki and Brunei Separatists. So the Kazakis are going to fire first. We'll kill them. Let's go ahead and reduce unrest in this area for a little bit. The Kyoto troops are going to have to transfer down here toward Brunei to deal with them. Unless I wanted to raise autonomy. How large of an army are we looking at? 23,000? Yowzes. I'm going to do it. I'm just going to raise autonomy. I'm not going to deal with them. I'm just not going to deal with it. It's not worth it to me. We have other things that we can do. Other fish to fry. Now that I'm going to have, like, 50,000 troops, though, I'm going to feel a lot better about taking over Southeast Asia. Everything that is not a tributary 
I'm going to take. Why can't I do this? I have to have a relationship. Uh, you would not ally me, so I'm going to have to just conquer you instead. How are we looking in Kyoto? Still spreading the institution very well. We'll deal with the rebels up here. We have to go elsewhere. I am so peeved that Russia is allowed to do this. Do you know how insane this is? Ridiculous. Oh good, iron. Okay, there's the Kazaki Separatists. Now we have to finish them off. No years of Separatism for you! Well, I say that. We're slow to march around in Siberia. Wait, this is a desert? Wherever we are then. It's fine though, we didn't lose much and they're gonna get years of Separatism in only a small place. Karta! Okay, uh, how about, um, the mock? Majapi Heat Separatist, point six. Not a problem. So that's done. I guess we'll go over... Where's an area? We can do several areas. Why don't we just go up here? And then we'll do autonomous rebel suppression in a few places. Circulation of hostile publications. Well, I don't care if Setsu has an institution spread reduction. Um, I'm going to go ahead and accept the unrest. I don't need missionary strength there either. Those are my core territories and should not be a problem. Except. That should reduce unrest quite a bit. Core core. So, if I can't expand against them... Uh, let's see, I can't do a tributary. So, Khmer becomes an option. Ayutthaya becomes an option. There's a bunch of options down here to the south of Southeast Asia. And if I take any lands in the right places, I could consider finding areas to attack in, say, India? If I did a no-CB war, that could be an option. I'd lose two stability, for example. To go and take Vagina Gar. You know, we could start making pushes like that. Alternatively, get uh, an explorer together and try to take advantage of the Unknown Overlord. Nope, wait, Mamluks know who I am. So they've all discovered me at this point. So the Unknown Overlord mechanic is a no-no. I'm going to go ahead and annex Oda. Let's start working on that, get some extra lands. Yamana probably would be next on that list. Let's see, this trade ship can go and protect trade in Malacca. Can no longer claim Sagami. Ashikaga, don't care. Join these navies up. Bountiful Harvest, 200 extra ducats. Uh, no manufactories worth building. A couple of temples and productions of facilities worth building. A little bit of manpower. Trade. No. No. There's nothing worth building. Are you serious? Korchin. I'm very nervous now. Like, now that we have Ming against us, that is scary. They are legitimately quite strong. And I did not manage to get quite as many tributaries bordering with them as I was hoping. So, knocking them off of their pedestal is going to be that much more difficult. Especially since I can't take Oirat. That would have been considered to be, like, the Northern Hordes. Their prosperity is too high anyway, but still, like, I, I need to look for opportunities to snag any of their tributaries away from them. Anything. So, for example, uh, Malacca, if they were to get an ally and I could kill Malacca, that'd be fantastic. Lan Shang, you're allied to Manipur. Who are you? Manipur way up here. Really? You're not tributary. So if I could find a way to get into war with them, that'd be an opportunity. Like, I'm looking for anything like that at this point. Calm, you're allied to somebody over here. This little guy? Now well, that little guy's a tributary too. Oirats, ally somebody else. Not them, somebody else. Somebody who is not a tributary of Ming and I will happily kill all of you. Very happily. Ondo Iki Iko Iki. Transport, transport. Yamana's getting killed by somebody. 
Uh, what can I do as a world power, though? Let's see. We do get some power projection. I mean, that is nice. Finally. I think we have to kill Khmer. We can stop improving with Oda. Let's go ahead and start fabricating claims on somebody there. What about... Wait, hang on. What about Arakan? You're a tributary of Ayutthaya. So what if I attacked Ayutthaya directly? Ava, you have... You're too strong. You are allied to Tripura. Tripura is this little guy. Okay, I could attack Ayutthaya. Copeligerize Ava, get them as a tributary. I could get a couple little guys. Ayutthaya, I would not be able to eat, but I would be able to possibly steal away one of their little guys to feed later. And with that done, I could kill Arakan. Yeah, Southeast Asia is going to be where it's at right now. No doubt in my mind. How's the unrest? It appears to mostly be going away. Okay. We'll come back to this next video next week, right? We just have to tread carefully now. But the good news is, I think we are in a position... This is... Everything colored here is mine. So we are in enough of a position that I don't think Ming's going to want to attack me. And if I can start utilizing the Vassal Swarm effectively, get those tributaries weak in Ming, we can try to force a Ming explosion and get a whole load of daimyos in China that away. If we can get all of that under my control, we push west aggressively. We'll come back to that later, though. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. If so, then I ask that you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.